Do it one more time. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to a new video on my channel. How do I look, Ricky? It's beautiful. <laughs> um, hey, guys, welcome back today. I wanted to talk about what I do, I guess, for a living, what Project 33 is, how I'm able to live in Bali, because that's kind of like a common question I get, especially on Instagram. Like, I get a lot of DMs of, um, you know, what is Project 33? How am I in Bali? You know, who's paying for, you know, this fancy stuff I have here, like this amazing scooter, you know, I'm, I'm making, I mean, I would say I'm making a lot of cash, Ricky. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so I can, I'm, I'm able to afford, you know, this, this amazing stuff. So to answer the question of like what I do for a living, I guess, um, I want to backtrack a bit to when I first came to New York. So I was in New York six months ago from, I got to New York in, in February last year. And um, when I came, I didn't really have a plan of what to do. And so I just lived off of savings. Um, I had savings that I made working as a fundraiser back in Germany. And I'm um, somewhere halfway through of those six months, I think like two months in, I realized that I was, that I was running out of these savings. Like, um, you know, that I didn't have any more money to be able to live there. And so I really only had two options, which was either to go back to Germany, get a job, save up some more money and come back to New York because I knew I wanted to be in New York or um, figure out how to make money without getting a job because when I came I didn't have a work permit, I didn't have a you know working visa so I couldn't I couldn't get a job in the US. Um, so that's for the first time when I realized I needed to figure out how to make money on my own and what I did was really just kind of leveraging the skills that I had had by doing my thing on social media so I did I did all kinds of shit like really anything someone wanted to pay me for you know freelancing I mean I did I did some Instagram growth for people I did some Instagram and YouTube consulting I did some some LinkedIn stuff for people I did some video editing like really random things like people wanted to pay me for um, and as I was doing that and, and kinda you know making my first cash being my own I guess boss but you're not really your own boss because like you're at the mercy of other people um, one, at one point a guy reached out to me um, who I met at a networking event in New York and he was kind of following my stuff on LinkedIn and he said hey I really like what you're doing I would like you to help me out do that too and he was the he, he had a company a pretty I think 40 employees so a pretty legit company in New York he was you know he was way older than me way more experienced and he wanted he wanted to build up his LinkedIn his personal brand on LinkedIn and he asked if I could help him out, one, with obviously the content creation and, you know, film the stuff for him, edit the videos for him, but also the strategy part of, you know, when to post, what to post, what he should talk about. And I was like, yeah, like, of course, like, you're going to pay me for that stuff. Um, I'd love to do that. So I was putting it together, putting together a proposal for him. And as I was putting together that proposal, I realized for the first time that, oh, I feel like this exact thing that I'm putting together for him and this proposal could work for a lot of other people um, that, are, that are kind of in a similar position to what, where he was at, where you know he wanted to build his personal brand on LinkedIn, but he, one, didn't have the time to build it, and he also didn't have the, the knowledge to really build out the strategy and the, the, the understanding of the platform. Um, and that's when I hit up my buddy in New York, who had a small ghostwriting agency at that point, and I asked him whether he wanted to kind of combine efforts and so we 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 decided to build this out our first two clients were just referrals from from friends of ours um, actually both of these clients fell through um, one of them we fired because we realized we were putting so much time into that that um, it was not you know working out in terms of like the the um, the compensation we got and for the other one I mean we're talking right now um, but we weren't really able to deliver and um, but that's kind of how it started and um, just from that and that's what now evolved into project 33 so pro project 33 is a um, personal branding company oh hey Jay um, so project 33 is a personal branding agency and we focus on helping you know, founders and CEOs build their personal brand on LinkedIn specifically. 
um, we create value by um, providing additional bandwidth. So, you know, helping with content creation, um, content ideation, distribution, we post and schedule for them. Anything that, you know, one, saves them time, and two, um, makes them able to execute on LinkedIn on kind of like how LinkedIn works without them having to have the, the deep understanding of the platform. And um, that's why Ricky's here. Hey. Um, my partner is still in London and we have Ghost Rider in Cape Town in the UK and the US. Um, and I mean, I'm, we, I mean, it's, I guess it's a startup. It's still like super early on. We're like, we're, we're really trying to build this out. And it's kind of the vision is to focus on founders who, who have, who have a, an important mission. Like, because basically the way I think about it, by building someone's personal brand, we're giving them a stage and you go, no, giving them a voice. And um, so I wanna make sure that through that, we focus on people who are actually care, who actually care about having an impact and not just wanna make more money for their business. Um, and yeah, that's what we're building out here right now. We're super focused on sales, like just getting more clients. Like that's definitely something that um, we need to be focusing on. We just signed a, you know, a new client, which I'm super happy about. Um, but yeah, that's kind of that's kind of what we do. So we get paid. I know it's kind of for anyone who like doesn't really understand, you know, how it works with freelancing. And I know a lot of people, a lot of a lot of you guys don't know. It's just like, I mean, anything is a business where someone wants to pay you money f for you to help them do something, and. Um, we realize that founders are willing to pay us money to help them build their personal brand on LinkedIn, and that's how I make money. That's what Project 33 is, and that's how I'm able, you know, to afford this fancy ass fucking scooter. And that's the video. See you in the next video. Let me know if you have any questions. If you know what's unclear, because like I wanna, I want you guys to understand exactly what we do. Um, so let me know what's unclear. Any more questions you have, drop them down below, and then see you in the next video. Peace.